trying to start these videos is always weird. It's a, it's like the bane of most authors is that starting line. And it's kind of no different with doing narrations for videos. It's like, what do I say to start the, the thing? Where do I jump off from? I, I don't know. Maybe I do it like this. Several years ago, I used to make spreader bars and a spreader bar is basically this. A bar or some form of thing with hooks and loops and it's used for binding people to it. You can use restraints, cuffs, rope, scarves, anything ties them to this. You're only limited by your imagination on what you can do with one of those things. When making a spreader bar, it helps to be able to get all the holes lined up. You can sit there and you can measure it all out, drill your holes and everything, but you run the problem of them being lopsided, so the best solution is to make a jig for it. Especially for someone like myself who wants to make multiples, that way I can easily reproduce them. This was the original jig I'd made years ago. Feed the dowel rod in, and then you have pilot holes. There were things about it I didn't like, so I wanted to remake it, and the video was going to be me remaking it. And I got all the footage and I got all the, uh, started getting it edited, and this was the first one. And then I realized that these three holes on top were not lined up. One thing led to another, there was another problem, and then when I started trying to figure out how to correct it, and it started getting more expensive and it started getting really technical. And then I came up with this guy. These are gonna be the new spreader bars that we have. Stick around, check it out. Subscribe, like, comment, and hit the bell notification. Check out all stuff. After measuring it all out, hey, this is a technique I used in the St. Andrew's Cross video. Link in the description. That way I can make sure I penetrate the wood correctly. And then that happens. Eh, not a big deal. I didn't have it close enough to the edge so the drill couldn't properly seat up against the wood. You can see how enthralled I am with my lack of competence in this situation. What's nice is one of those jigs actually uh, came in a little handy there and helped me keep the board level while I drilled through those holes. All right. We call those round to it. That way, if uh, someone asks you to do anything, you toss this to them and say, Get round to it. <laughs> I love routing. I mean, I really, really love routing. There's an instant gratification to it that is just kind of unmatched to many other things in woodworking. Everything usually takes a while to see your end results, but routing, <laughs> you're stoked immediately. Yeah, I like routing. But I hate sanding. Yeah, sanding sucks. And I uh, figured I might as well try to clean up the holes and sand them now before I put the support bars in them. Trying to work around them later will just be a nightmare.
I wanted to get another really cool shot of the sparks flying uh, kind of like this from the St. Andrew's Cross video. Link in the description. So, but when I done that footage, there's still a little pock mark in the uh, screen protector on my phone. So this time I opted out of doing that. So there's that. Add a little flame because I like to burn shit. Yeah. Finish sanding it, finish it, and boom. There you go. It'll be up on our website. Link in the description. And I could make these in whatever color you want. You just gotta holla at your penguin. I will be releasing a video for Kink on a Budget Spreader Bar where I make this guy. And I made it for under $10. Unfortunately, there's no link in the description, but if you did all the the stuff that you're supposed to do Subscribe like comment and hit the bell notification With uh, the social media and whatnot you'll you'll see when I upload it. Thanks for watching from all of us to you Peace